Hey guys, this is Brian Howell from Saltwater Ambitions. Uh, I've had quite a few questions recently about protein skimming and uh, specifically what type of protein skimmer uh, we run here, how we operate it, and how we do the maintenance on it. So I wanted to take a couple of moments just to go through that with you guys and I'd be open to answer any questions you might have. So first of all, uh, you can see we're, we're using a Reef Octopus Regal 300 INT protein skimmer here. The entire thing is driven by a Vario 6S pump and it's managed by a 5-speed uh, adjustable controller here that we've got mounted. And as you can see it does a great job. I've intentionally let this thing go longer than I normally would to show you the amount of skimmate that's, that's in this. Uh, that little piece sticking out of the top there, there's a float switch attached to it so should this giant uh, this skimmate container ever become full to the top, basically that float switch will shut off the pump and prevent you from having any kind of nasty overflow uh, on your skimmate uh, tank. The other part of this that I think is relevant is to talk about the, the tub, the sump tub that the skimmer is actually sitting in. So this is a fairly large skimmer, uh, definitely one of the larger ones um, that you would see in, in somebody's home, I, I would think. Uh, a lot of the units that I see are more of a, a tube where they're uh, just a, a straight cylinder. Uh, they don't take up as much, uh, you know, square footage, if you will. Um, but this this item being as large as it is, uh, this sump tub dedicated to the protein skimmer allows me to do any maintenance that I need to do fairly easy, and also allows me to completely remove uh, this entire unit. Should, should I need to um, get in there to really do some maintenance on it or, or give it a thorough cleaning. Uh, this, this sump tub is actually made by uh, the folks at Custom Aquariums. You can see here it's the seamless sump design. Uh, you can go to their website at lifetimeaquariums.com or customaquariums.com and uh, see all of the different configuration options that they have available to you. The entire sump here um, I had purchased from Custom Aquariums and, and I love it so far. but. Specifically talking about this, this skimmer tub, as you can see the opening on the top of it provides me access to do any kind of adjustments that I need to the pump, uh, dial this thing in in the event that I'm changing the water levels or, or anything like that. Um, it's really very flexible, it's a strong unit, uh, so I do not have to worry about you know cracking this thing or dropping parts in it or anything like that. Uh, it's pretty much indestructible and I, I just I really enjoy the way that it's been working out for me so far. Uh, in order to do the normal maintenance, which typically I do on a weekly basis, um, I intentionally let it go longer here just so that you guys could see the, the skimmate build up in there. Um, but what, what I would normally do is just come underneath here and this adjustable controller allows you to um, turn on a pause setting. So you can pause it for 15 minutes, or you can pause it for 60 minutes. Uh, when I'm doing the maintenance, it doesn't really matter to me very much because it's, it's such a quick process, but I usually go ahead and pause it for the 60 minutes by tapping the pause button twice. And when that happens, as you can see, the water level will drop in the skimmer as that pump is paused. And when it finally stops, you have the ability to basically lift off the top of the skimmer this thing comes completely off of here, and the entire skimmate container disconnects from the unit right here. So it, it fits closely and snugly into that. It doesn't shake or, or um, you know, uh, it's not loose in any way at all. So you kind of have to reach underneath here and basically pop this up. You can just put a little pressure on the bottom side of it here, and the entire thing comes off. And you just want to be careful to, to not spill that skimmate all over inside of your uh, your sump. That would be pretty nasty. Um, but what I normally do is just flip this top upside down. And I just rest it right here. And then I take this entire piece off. And I just carry it over to the wash tub that I have here next to the tank and I just dump this guy in and I, I wash it off thoroughly I clean everything out really well 
uh, make sure that the outside part of it is nice and dry and then I just go back over to the unit reinstall it and I take a, usually a paper towel just take a paper towel a dry paper towel or two uh, to the inside of this and wipe it out pretty thoroughly it comes very clean I do it every week so it's it's not nasty at all I make sure that the float switch is uh, nice and cleaned off so that it's free to operate uh, the way that you would expect it to I reassemble it and then uh, depending on how long you take to do this process you can let the skimmer just start back up on its own or you just go ahead and push the power button on the controller to take it out of the pause mode and uh, basically you're good to go so we do that on a weekly basis here and uh, it's it's pretty straightforward not too nasty and um, it's actually one of the more rewarding processes uh, when it comes to cleaning the tank because you can see it go from well first of all you can see how much stuff it's pulling out of the water um, and then when it's nice and sparkling clean uh, it gives you a sort of a rewarding sense and makes you feel like you accomplished something toward the benefit of your uh, your display so if you guys have any questions feel free to let me know again you can reach out to custom aquariums at lifetimeaquariums.com or customaquariums.com in order to get more information about the seamless sump uh, if you're interested in a skimmer um, a skimmer reservoir uh, like the one we have here so I will talk to you guys soon thanks hey guys so you can see I, uh, I went ahead and took the, the top unit or the top part of the unit off and uh, cleaned it out really only took a couple minutes I just turned the hot water on in the laundry tub and rinse this guy out and sort of flush out all the, the nastiness that's inside there went ahead and uh, just took a dry paper towel and wiped out the inside of the lid here uh, probably could have taken that off and cleaned it more thoroughly had I really felt the need to do so but um, all I have to do at this point is just reach up and hit the power button to uh, start that pump back up and you'll see the water will start to cycle back in here and bubbles will start flowing and the, the skimming will resume so um, I really like this Regal 300 INT protein skimmer uh, it's done a great job for, for our reef here and I really really like the seamless sump um, this, this skimmer tub from Custom Aquariums. So uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know and I'd be happy to answer them for you and uh, hope that everyone's doing well. Thanks.